and that'll make her happy. And I, well, yeah, well, that would make us all happy. That's, that's I would have booted her off the fucking show as soon as she said that. I just want my money. Bam, you're off the fucking show because you're not a credible fucking person. Get the fuck out of here. Ah, she's welcome to her opinion. It's fine. That's a, a lot of people think that way. Uh, money but, won't make it better. Money, money is really well. Money is the problem, but money is not a race issue. Money is not a white thing. Money is uh, no. if if every if all the richest people in the world were black, uh, someone would be being oppressed by them. That's yep. a money thing. That's not a black white thing. That's right. Um, and that's that's the problem. And I have no problem if we all want to attack money. Absolutely, I was all over Occupy, hundred percent. Until Occupy, just like BLM, lost its way and got stupid. Yep. And when your own organization is sponsoring the NBA, not sponsoring you, that's a problem. Yeah. That's that is a. That's not. You're supposed to be there for for people to 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 uh, to show that people need help, and you're donating to a bunch of multi-millionaires and billionaires, you're not smart. You're not doing anything for your cause. No, exactly. Whatsoever. And that was my point, and I made it, and I made it well. Um, let's talk about some news, because I don't want to talk about me anymore. It's starting to make me hate white people. <laughs> uh, all right, well, we all know what happened over in Beirut. Um, massive explosion. Um, some interesting things coming out of this. Number one, there are a whole whack of protests going on. Um, where basically people are calling for the government's resignation. They want the whole government to say, "Fuck it, we're all guilty of this. This never should have happened. Um, you've been, you're, you're criminals. You're, you're liars. You're this. You're that." Um, so people are just freaking out and i'll say they're just everybody's just directly just blaming the government directly for this uh happening that's what they do in those countries they will yep. literally overthrow their government well 16 people have been arrested so far uh during the initial part um that was going on uh yesterday and today yeah 16 people and uh being detained as it is uh they've had um lebanon or beirut specifically has had uh, two um, government officials stepped down. One of them uh, was a um, who the fuck was she? She was a ambassador to Jordan. She resigned because of the government's negligence um, over the whole thing. Um, and another one, uh, another one quit. I don't know who the other person was, but somebody also quit um, the day of the like that afternoon. That's it. I'm out, he says. Fuck this. You guys <laughs> cause this. I'm out. <laughs> as soon as the explosion went off, he's like, I'm out. Fuck it. No, I'm done. Yeah. That's good. That's um, the smartest guy right there. Agreed. That was amazing. Um, and here's the thing, though. So you got all these the people in the town all saying that you know, the government's corrupt and all this other shit. Now you've got you got Italy fucking pledging fucking money. You've got uh, 35 or 33 million donated from the UK um, to help with um, everything sort of going on right now to get supplies and help with whatever they need help with. So as an initial plan, the U.S. is going to be giving money and Canada's going to be giving money. Everybody's going to be giving money. But the problem is, is who are you giving these money to? Yeah. You're not going to the people. I'll tell you that much. You'll donate $35 million, but they'll probably see about $1,000 of it spent if. on them. If. That's total spent on them for a couple of cases of fucking water. Well, especially if there's no government. <laughs> who who yeah. gives the money to? Yeah, it's just That's why these Black Lives Matter. And where the fuck is <laughs> Italy coming up with money? Didn't and Two-thirds of Italy just died. Well, that's just it, though. It's all the old people. That should, that should... They've just saved a tremendous amount in fucking old, in 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 healthcare. Yeah, it's true too. Yeah, they're 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 probably looking fantastic financially right now. <laughs> Not it's, saying uh... that's the reason for all of it, but you know, just saying. Well, that was. Uh... I did say that was the reason for it. <laughs> yeah, you, you did ago. actually. Um... <laughs> uh... No, something I didn't know that was going on uh, with them. Uh, or with uh, Beirut, um, 
is since October, the banks have frozen people out of their own savings accounts and blocked transfers abroad ah. since October. And then now the Lebanon Central Bank is making or is asking all the other banks to make – they're called cheap dollar loans. And basically what it is is instead of being able to pull out your money – you pay to depositors with dollar accounts in cash at a, in a local currency at a market rate. And that's how you get your money. So instead of using the money that you saved and having nothing against it, now you are literally have to borrow money from the bank because they won't let you touch their your own money. Yeah, I'm locked into something similar to that right now. Um... <laughs> but you weren't forced into that in the sense – you didn't sign no, up to was, a bank specifically for them to it. say, you're not getting your money. Yeah. Uh, but uh, ne nevertheless, um, that's an interesting way to do it. I don't understand. I don't know why they were frozen out of their accounts in October. I don't know what's going on in Lebanon. I stopped paying attention to Lebanon a thousand years ago. So I'd have to look into it more. There's obviously something going on. And that just l leads to more conspiracy theories over who caused this bomb. Mm hmm. That's right. Um, Zimbabwe um, has come forward to say that, hey, we didn't know anything. We have no knowledge of the ship carrying the cargo of the ammonium nitrate. Um, we have no idea about any of this. It has nothing to do with us. Stop blaming us. It wasn't us. Because yeah. it, it was just a Mo 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 Mozambiquean uh, 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 boat. <laughs> Zimbabwe with, with the 700% inflation or whatever right now? Uh, yeah, this is Mozambique, though, not Zimbabwe. Well, is it the same thing? Is it basically the same thing? I don't know. The I have no it. idea. I blame them all. Yeah, some, some shit. Africa's <laughs> fucked. That's... Now, on top of this, though, hang on a second. On top of this, um, um, so far they have questioned more than eighteen ports, port and custom officials. Sixteen people are detained over the explosion and the government has put has told them that we want to know who did this and you got five days to figure it out is that the same 16 people that got arrested for the protest no different 16 just happens to be the same number interesting that is very very interesting but yeah um so yeah just a little that's just just craziness. So like I, I, this whole listing of like all the stuff that's come forward in the last like 10 hours, it's like at 1930, 16 people detained over Beirut at 1945, Zimbabwe Zim, <laughs> or Mozambique denies knowledge, you know, <laughs> at fucking 2015 Lebanon central bank asked banks to make cheap dollar loans and just fucking nuts. It's a weird, a weird thing going on. I don't know. I don't know. It's for me, whenever these things creep up, I think they're just trying to get us distracted from something else. Um, yep. It's so easy now, though. Like when people are sniffing around too closely and people are questioning too much about what's going on. Oh, why are we wearing the masks? Oh, the COVID thing's not working. Oh, really? Okay, well, here's a big explosion in Lebanon to focus on. Yeah, exactly. Um, I honestly exactly. believe that's kind of what what's going on because it's it, it always happens this way mm -hmm. when whenever we get too close to questioning a little too much and we we start forming answers on our own all of a sudden there's a bomb in some weird place but it's always yeah. a place like beirut where it wouldn't matter too much like like it's it's not like it's like the uk or yeah, canada exactly. or us yeah it's um, it's just oh here's a uh, here's a community like how many people knew that there was However many pounds of that shit stored in that building. Yeah, that came out really quickly. That was just like, oh, let's just go blow up that, that building full of explosives. Yeah, but and apparently it... the stuff was on the boat, not in the building. And the boat was docked. But that contradicts the one statement that I read about, the whole thing, where they said that, that it's been sitting yeah, it's on been sitting in that port for building for, yeah, for like six years or eight years or whatever it is. And now everybody's saying, no, 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 it was on the boat. 
I don't know. The explosion seems to erupt from the building. When you see all the videos of it, it's all come from the building. Why is all of a sudden, is it all in the boat? Well, because whoever is stuck in that building in that heavy populated area doesn't want to get in trouble for it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's gonna be, we just it's... loaded the stuff on the boat yesterday. It wasn't us. <laughs> yeah. And there's just yeah. in these situations now, there's always just so many questions and so much confusion. It's never. It seems like since 9 11, everything's just always. Nothing's cut and dry anymore. It's always. And I think that's because the world recognized right then and there that if the if the U.S. can get away with what they got away with with 9-11, then why can't everybody else? And I think that's pretty much the attitude that just went around. Oh, well, maybe. Because that's it makes sense. I mean, like, if you looked around, you thought, like, you know, okay, there's so much evidence that shows that 9-11 was an inside job. There's a tons, a tremendous amount of evidence that proves it. There's a tremendous amount of evidence that looks like it. There's nothing that proves it. Because there's just as much evidence from the other side that looks just as easily explainable. You can you can explain both sides 100% clear. So nothing proves anything. Okay, you're right. So I'll rephrase my statement. There is a tremendous amount of evidence that implicates... Uh, that it was an inside job. Exactly. The actual report that was given out was one of the biggest farces in fucking U.S. history, um, considering how much was not discussed in it and how much of it just literally made no sense in the actual, like, scientifically. That building could not possibly have fallen the way it did. It is oh, it literally have. not possible. It, you know, it literally if, if it was is full possible. Explosions. Absolutely. And there is a bunch of evidence to show how it could have. So you can a, skew it either way. That's the problem. A giant with tall it. building falling straight down without tilting any way, shape, or form? Yes. That can only help it with, happen with controlled explosives. No. There's... Uh, I, I can... Sh- I'm not going to sit here and Google shit for another show, but there's equal <laughs> explanation for the opposite of your argument that looks just as good as your argument. That's what I'm saying. and I'm not arguing with you. I'm just saying no side is ever going to know what was right because it can be proven either way or it can be implicated either way. And it's just whatever you're – no one's ever going to know the answers to it. Well, it's just, again, it still just goes to prove nothing can be trusted. So then if no straight exactly. answer can come out of this, therefore, the rest of the world just looked at it and said, well, fuck it then. We don't need to fucking tell the truth. What's the point? If the quote unquote most powerful nation on the planet can get away with it, why can't we? Yeah, it's true. Um, I don't think they got away with anything. But that's another argument for another show. And apparently one we're going to have to have. (laughs) But uh, this one's not going to make any more sense than that one, I don't think. I just want the building explained. Because I still have yet to see anything that explains a building to fall the way it did without controlled explosions. All right. Well, I'm not going to sit here and drag it up now. But I'll find it and I'll show you. We'll discuss it sometime. I'm up for that. Um, Um, So, yeah. So there's that. I don't know what's going to come out of this Lebanon thing, but I think it's really just uh, someone has done this to get us off the COVID thing. Yeah. See, folks, you got to wear your mask. Your port might blow up. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone wearing masks in there probably. You're like, what the fuck are we wearing these masks for? <laughs> I still can't breathe. What the fuck? This mask didn't help at all. <laughs> Well, that's just the thing. We can all wear our masks and then get our fucking heads blown off tomorrow morning. We don't know. Yeah. I don't understand. No idea. This, like, I don't know why we just stop talking about everything else. Like, when yeah, five years from now, we're going to find out that everyone has new kind of form of throat cancer caused by masks. And no one's going to yep. remember that. Oh, what? Cancer? What's that? Is that... Like in the new COVID? No, that's the thing everybody had before COVID, you fucking retards. <laughs> you know, one of my favorite things, there's a doctor that released this video thing of him 
wearing a surgical mask. I'm going to rephrase and re- repeat repeat this: a surgical mask, and then did a 